And now back to the Aloha spirit and then some. A Waimanalo man's active bravery is being credited for saving a life during the worst of the storm Friday night. Elisa Revelo tells us about the heroic rescue in a story that's new at 10. Elisa. Howard, a woman found herself trapped as the floodwaters rose around her. I spoke with the man who jumped into action to help her, and he says he didn't think twice. Kalei Kini Naipo says the floodwaters seemed to go away as quickly as they came. And as I reached around here, it got up to maybe four feet. And as you can see, it kind of like uh, tapers down. Kalei lives near the Waimanalo stream. He was watching the water rise outside his home when he got a phone call for help. The neighbor's mother was trapped inside a bus that she was temporarily living in, just around the corner from his house. Kalei went to find her. I'm yelling out for Auntie, you know, just, just yelling to her. You know, I, I really couldn't hear anything because of the wind, the rain. All I could see was lights from her bus. And then as I got closer, I could hear her, like, um, knocking on the window. Just to give you guys some perspective, I'm about five feet three inches tall. Kalei tells me when he finally got to the bus, the water was up to the windshield. Yeah, right about here. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The water now up to his neck. Kalei struggled to move a wood platform that had floated up and blocked the bus door. I could tell Auntie was already um, frantic, very uh, frightened. Were you ever scared at any point? Um, I think I was more afraid for Auntie because she's a little bit um, fragile, you know. Finally, after a few frantic moments, Kalei was able to move the platform and pried open the bus doors. He guided the woman and her dog safely back to his house. Residents in the area are calling him a hero, but Kalei tells me he just did what he hoped others would do for him. I thought of her as if she was my family, you know, because we were raised that way, you know, to help people no matter what. The woman and her dog are okay, but I'm told several vehicles in the area were flooded out and some farm animals were also lost. Marissa.